on an all-new Dr. Phil. She claims all her devices... I am being hacked. You think it could be the Russians? ...are being compromised. I had received a message that Jennifer had infidelity issues. But who's behind the hacking? I hired a private investigator. It cost me $2,000 to find out that she's doing it. It's not me. I am not a part of this. Have you have 35 email accounts? The ones that we have found are not all mine. You do know that she changes her stories. Every other day. Have you been telling me the truth ever since you got here? Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. Five, four. I am not giving up on you. As we were preparing for today's show, my guest, Jennifer, has been crying to my staff, worried that she is about to lose her family and the love of her life, her husband, Billy. Now, Jennifer says the crux of the issue is that their phones and computers have been getting hacked for the last 16 months, and it's causing chaos in her marriage because Billy thinks Jennifer is the one doing the hacking. Well, why? Because Billy says everything leads back, traces back to Jennifer's phone, and nothing of value is getting hacked except everyone's sanity. Now, his family is fed up, saying that I shouldn't believe Jennifer's crocodile tears. Here's an example of Jennifer's, well, what they call crying fits. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, their point is, there's everything but tears. Now, Billy says he wants Jennifer to stop seeking attention and just come clean about what's going on. There is no doubt in my mind. I am being hacked. They're literally taking these pictures off of my phone. From the time Billy picked up my phone, it has changed our entire lives. That's all we ever thought about is these damn phones. I had received a message from one of her friends stating that she had some infidelity issues. The reason he picked up my phone was because he wanted to make sure I was not talking to anybody that I wasn't supposed to be. It made me curious of what she's hiding. Ever since that day, we noticed that every device we had was compromised. When you go to settings, all of my settings are duplicated. When Billy went through my phone, from that moment, we have been dealing with either a hacker or hackers. We have had accounts that have been altered. And the worst part about this is that I look like I'm the one that's hacking him. I'm 100% sure that Jennifer is behind the hacking. I was always told that it was on your phone. You did. Billy doesn't trust me when it comes to phones and devices. And we have not stopped fighting from the day this started. You don't understand, Billy. We have spent over $5,000 just on devices alone. We have replaced laptops, four phones, two computers, and two routers. We have also spent $2,000 on a private investigator. He informed us after the malware analysis that I am doing this. <laughs> I know that it is not me. I have called the internet companies. I have gone as far as calling the FBI, Homeland Security, and I even spoke with the Secret Service. Nobody has been able to help me. At this point, I'm determined and I'm relentless, and I will clear my name. Okay. Now, if you're not the hacker, who's doing this? Who is hacking these phones? I'm not sure. Uh, I. I... I know that... Well, you have theories. Yes, I do. I have a lot of theories. Okay, and who are your theories? Um, well, I have questioned ex-boyfriends. I've questioned family members, uh, neighbors. I've even gone as far as questioning my husband. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Um, I know that April of uh, 2017, Billy had picked up my phone, and he um, had gone through my phone, which wasn't a big deal. And from that point on, Dr. Phil, our lives were turned upside down. Yeah, um, and clearly. And it just, it did not stop. It's still going on. Well, he uh, says it's to the point that he's about to lose his business because he's so obsessed with this. It's yes. all he can think about. It's absorbing all of his energy. Mm -hmm. And it is. you, you it, said at one point you think that, and you, you're serious about this, that you actually think it could be the Russians as part of a bigger, not targeting you specifically, but it could be part of a... Well, and I don't know if I should say that any particular, um, you know, Russians or however, but I believe that there's something that is a larger deal with this. I believe it's a large attack and that they could be hiding behind all of us to do this attack. I was immediately accused of doing this. Um, from the get-go. Everything we would see, um, everything we talk about, the very next day it'd be gone. I reached out to a hacker um, and he was giving me information and he told us it's a large attack and that Billy was not pinpointed, he just happened to have bad luck or be, you know, What's the objective and what, why would they, what are they hiding behind? Well, How are they using you as a shield? I don't, I don't know that they, there's any particular reason that they're using me as a shield. I don't think they just went through and said, hey, let's just decide to pick her today and we're in her life for the rest, you know, for a while. But um, I just know that um, everything comes back to me. You say the problem started when Billy picked up your phone and looked at it. And this was on April 23rd of, of 2017. Mm -hmm. And he looked at an account there, and I don't want to be specific about the, the names of the account, but right. it, said, it, it said the name and then 01. Right. It was, our, okay. it was under our daughter's name. Right. And your daughter was three and a half. Yes. And, 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 and you have opened accounts in your daughter's name. Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, don't need to explain yes. that yet. Just let me, I'm just trying to get some yeah. of the facts out not the reasons why. I just sometimes like to talk about what we can agree about. Right. Because sometimes if you do that, you figure out that what you disagree about is not as big as you realize. Right. Um, you have opened accounts in your three and, and then ultimately four-year-old's name. Yes. Before. And some of these he was aware of. He was aware of every everything I'd done for her previously. Okay. We always had his But approval. he looked at your phone and it had the name in 01. Mm -hmm. And then he gets up the next day and that account's gone mm -hmm. and that account now says 44. Yes. So it was 01 and then the next morning it's gone and there's an account there that says 44. Right. And, and you say that is the results of a hack. Well, I believe that it was a trigger, and I believe it was a fake um, email account, and I also believe that there's been a lot of fake uh, either email accounts or apps that have been placed during this time. Okay, and but you you think that was that somebody, not you, not him, took that off of the phone? Yes. So that was a, a hack. Somebody accessed your phone. Yes. And took that off. Yes. Why was he looking at your phone? Uh. There were um, some trust issues. And the trust issues is a friend told him you were getting ready to run away with another man. Yeah. And so that'll make a guy... <laughs> Definitely. Curious. Yes, to say the least. And so he wanted to look at your phone and see if there was evidence there or plans being made or whatever. Yes. Now, you, in fact, had... Um, had a sexual assignation with this individual, correct? On two occasions? Yes. Okay. And you said that those weren't mutually consensual? No. Um, so were you raped? Uh, I will not stand and say that that is the proper term. Um, I think rape can be a damaging word and it was a damaging time but 
I don't, I, I have a hard time talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know how to classify that for you, Dr. Paul. Well, you, you said it wasn't mutually consensual. He and I never had a mutual um, relationship. Whatever it was, it was never mutual. Uh, I, I felt very, uh, I guess if you will, he jacked around with my mind. He took advantage of me being a scaredy cat. He took advantage of me in a lot of ways. Wow. And I allowed, I allowed it. I know that now. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you felt manipulated. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, he took full advantage of every fear I ever had. He would say to me, Jennifer, I know that you've done this. I told him, Billy, yeah, you're right. I did. So you confessed. It was a false confession. That was one of the largest mistakes I could have ever made. And later, listen, if you just want to blow smoke, because you don't need me here to do that, because every time I turn around, you're, you're looking at him and saying, now, Billy, you know, now, Billy, you know, Billy, you know. I don't okay. know what's going on. Come <laughs> with me. Yes, sir. Wednesday, from handsome rapper. My son, Tibby, was a rock star. To homeless and on heroin. You're not in here doing dope. I'm sorry. His girlfriend even disguises herself to find him. I dress like a homeless person and wander the streets. But is his family to blame? You said he's ruined all of your lives and even killed your stepfather. I was going to joke, but I'm not. Oh, well, you can hide behind humor, but in the meantime, your boy's going to be better than a hammer. Then on Thursday, from cheerleader to wild child. You spent time in jail. All these mug shots, all these pictures, this is me. That perfect cheerleader, that was never me. That's Thursday. Now, here's an example Jennifer gave us of her phone getting hacked. Uh, her pictures are getting tampered with. So. Um, these are, these are your, like, camera roll? Yes. And there are a couple of spots in there where... Yes, and these are just, a, I mean, this is nothing compared to what I've actually got. I mean, they've gotten uh, at least 12 uh, pictures of our one-year-old daughter. What do you mean by hacked? Uh, someone that is doing this that is not me, not anybody I know. Uh, and I say, when I say not anybody I know of, I have to be real clear on this because Billy says, if you're not doing this, you know who is or you're a part of it. So let me just declare, it's when I say hacked, I mean, and I, I mean, it's not me. I am not a part of this. So if it is somebody I know, I'm not aware of, of this. Does uh -huh. that make sense? But by hacked, you mean somebody is accessing they your are, phone, computer... They have full access or, to... ...or whatever yes. without permission. Absolutely. You just mean they're... Somebody is... They're in our is, accounts. They're in our devices. I mean, we we went and bought brand new devices thinking that, hey, we got brand new devices, brand new Apple IDs, etc. that this would clear all of that. And they were able to get into any device we had, whether it, there was any internet service or not, within just an, a, a small amount of time. So I assume that they've stolen social security numbers, credit card numbers, money? They, we've had the bank call us and say that there was a transaction that was done uh, for a dating uh, service. And so, have yes, they stolen money? Yes, in a sense, yes. They have stolen money? Well, with the bank, the bank transaction of... Oh, wow. I, because that's the first time I've heard they actually stole money. Have they stolen your identity and used your credit cards to go out and buy things? We have not been aware of this at the moment. We've gotten notifications that somebody has accessed uh, my personal information uh, to either start a line of credit, uh, but when we check into it, we don't get anything. Huh. Well, you've never told us that before. Well, like I said, we, we're, not, we're not getting any, like, firm um, clarifications of it being done. They, they notify us that things are, like, somebody's checking into it, and they're trying to, but we're not getting any declared uh, 
notifications that they have done it. So, and that's why he thinks it's me. That's another reason. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Phil, here's the deal. I told Billy, because Billy and I sat there for four and a half months. I sat there and I watched him go through this every single day. And I was watching my best friend just fade away. And he would say to me, Jennifer, you've got to tell me what is going on. I know that you've done this. I know you've done that, blah, blah, blah. Well, at some point, you want to do anything to save your marriage and to save him from going through this continually. And so I did. I told him, Billy, you're right. I did. I did do this. I did do that. And that was one of the largest mistakes I could have ever made. Because... So you confessed? Well, false. It was a false confession. Well, you confessed why? <laughs> Because I love Billy, and I was watching him for four and a half months. Well, I mean, he was just, he was dying inside. And he told me, he said, Jennifer, if I don't get some type of closure, I will die with a broken heart, and I will never have closure in my life. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't, I couldn't bear to sit there and watch him go through this. And I didn't know what else to do other than to tell him that I had done these things. I thought by doing that, it would be the best thing for him. And little did I know, it was probably the worst mistake I could have done for this. Mm -hmm. Well, Jennifer's husband says that everything leads back to her. What he wants to know is what she is hiding. <laughs> so he's gonna join us next. And um, before we leave today, I believe we are going to get to the bottom of this. Last year, I had picked up Jennifer's phone. The more I found, the more she lied, the more she lied, the harder I looked. I'm sorry that I have not been honest. There's no doubt in my mind that Jennifer is hacking me. And later... Real help. Somebody who would get into this and figure it out. I so you hired that a PI? Yes, I reached out to a private investigator. And what did he conclude? It cost me $2,000 to find out that she's doing it. <laughs> Billy is insecure about our marriage because he believes that I've been hiding things from him, and that is because of the hacker. Before this all started, Billy did trust me. When this first started, Billy wanted to know what I was up to. At some point, he had had a listening device placed in the house. This is the recorder I would use to try to figure out what Jennifer was doing. He wants to make sure that I'm living the same way around him as I am away from him. Jennifer claims her family's phones and computers have been getting hacked for the last 16 months, and it could be anyone, a family member, an ex, uh, even the Russians. But her husband thinks that his wife is actually the one that's doing the hacking. Now, Billy says that he's nearly lost his sanity trying to keep track of Jennifer's stories and just wants to get to the bottom of this cyber mystery. Take a look. If we didn't have cell phones or computers, Jennifer would be perfect. Somebody is hacking my phone, and it is tearing our marriage up. Last year, I had picked up Jennifer's phone. The first thing that caught my eye was an email account in my daughter's name. Jennifer had agreed not to make any more accounts. The next day, every email account I had found disappeared. The first thing Jennifer says is, I didn't do it. A hacker must be doing it. The more I had found, the more she lied, the more she lied, the harder I looked. I'm sorry that I not been honest. I've checked Jennifer's phone at least once a week for the last 17 months. Yeah, I've let the business pretty much die because my drive has developed into what's going on with Jennifer and what she's doing and what she's hiding. No matter what I've found, Jennifer will tell you she didn't do it. A hacker did it. It's the lies. But were my lies of anything bad? It doesn't really? matter. There's no doubt in my mind that Jennifer is hacking me. If she is not hacking me, she knows who is. Well, Bill, how are you? Fairly well. 
Very good. How are you? Good to see you. Hi. Hi. You look nice. Thank you. Um, you were just saying something to me as Billy came out. What were you saying? Billy, uh, Billy's not aware of the first four and a half months of this. And I said, I was saying to you that with your help, um, that that is why I'm here, is to prove my innocence and to clear my name for this. Of the first four and a half months, uh, um, we wouldn't have the other 16 months or the other 12 months if we didn't have the first four well, and a half. Um, actually, Billy, that's what that's that's what we've that's what I've been trying to. But okay. you lied from day one. Okay, guys, time out here. <laughs> Time out here. Uh, just one old country boy to another. Yes. This is not nearly as complex and fuzzy as it seems to be. But what's she uh, hiding? I, I, we just have to. Um, ambiguity, vagueness, obfuscation are ways to just deflect and keep from getting down to what simple truths are. And I think you're confusing yourself a lot. And I'm either gonna deal with complete and utter transparency or not at all. And now you might be able to talk real fast and change the subjects and stuff with him because he's in love with you and he wants to overlook certain things and others, but I'm not so afflicted, so I want to deal with full transparency here. Okay. And if, in fact, you want this relationship to have a chance to survive, you need to really stop for a second, take a deep breath, and make a threshold decision. Because I think in everybody's life, we come to the precipice. We come to certain moments, forks in the road, where we make pivotal decisions that are outcome determinative in our lives. And you're at one of those right now. And I'm asking you to, to make a decision if you, if you want to play the ambiguity game, then let's play it and we'll see if you're better at it or I'm better at it. Or you can decide, you know what, enough's enough and too much is too much. Let's just get this out there and hit the reset button and give this, this, this thing a chance to, to survive. It's going to be one of the two. There's no way you were okay, transparent. Hang on, hang on, that hang I on. Know. Wait a minute, stop. Did somebody slip up and write stupid on my forehead? <laughs> Have you been telling me the truth ever since you got here? So my question to you is, do you want to be transparent about everything that's going on here, or do you want to try and fuzzy this up and manipulate the situation? We're not going to beat around the bush. I was transparent for four and a half months with you, and I know that that There's seems... no way you were okay, transparent. Hang on, hang on, that hang I on. Know. Wait a minute, stop. Did somebody slip up and write stupid on my forehead? <laughs> Well, no, no, look at me. Honestly, I asked you a question, and you then started talking to him because you don't want to deal with me. No, I do want to no, deal with No, you don't, you. because when I, I said something to you, and then you completely ignored me and started talking I to him be because he's easier to deal with than I me. I do want to be transparent. Okay, then you need to talk to me. But I was transparent for four and a half months, Dr. Phil. That is the biggest problem here. Have you been telling me the truth ever since you got here? Yes. Not yes. anything you've said since you got here has been a lie by omission or Billy a misstatement. Does not, Billy... I'm not asking about Billy. I'm asking about you. You and I have had a talk since we got here. Is everything you've said to me been the truth? Yes. I have not lied to you. I have told you exactly what has been going on. Billy didn't know that I had lied to him to save our marriage. And that is why I came onto this show, was to prove my innocence. Five times, Dr. Phil. I flipped-flopped 
back and forth Five between times. us. The because last time she hasn't taken it back yet, though. The reason I flip-flopped was because every time it. he would get upset because he didn't believe those Virgin Marys, then he would say, I'm done, I want a divorce, I, I want out of this. So I would go back and say whatever I had to That's to get us through. Because she would never took her first confession back if she felt that way. She was sure it wouldn't have gave me a second confession, a third confession, a fourth confession, a fifth confession. Every Not time they change. To do she's made clone my Facebook takes. page. In she's my made mind, extra email accounts. In All my, these accounts, Dr. Bill. In my mind, Dr. But Bill. But the hacker has done I could say whatever everything it took that has been done. to get him to hold on to our family long enough until I could get the proof. <laughs> Dr. Phil, I knew that if I could get the proof that, that the true, there like, isn't no ver proof. She, certified. Her, she has the proof. The real she proof. is the proof. Real help. Somebody who would get into this and figure it out. I so knew you hired that a PI? Yes, I reached out to a private investigator. And what did he conclude? It cost me $2,000 to find out that she's doing it. <laughs> Let me just say, Dr. Phil, I reached out. What did he conclude? He came back with results that, as of the facts stating that it would only seem as though I was doing this. Now, let me say, well, I hired him. Well, here's a statement him, from the PI. I hired him to do August 18th, 2018, the three main takeaway points on our research to date, in my opinion, are there is absolutely no evidence that this iPhone has been rooted, hacked, or remotely manipulated. A large number of apps and tools on the phone are tools not normally found in the private sector and are highly sophisticated tools used to hack other networks and devices and would require a skill set normally found in someone with an extensive background in IT or hacking. These apps appear to have been downloaded and or accessed by the owner of the phone or by the owner with another person's assistance. Okay, let me say, when I hired, when we reached out to him, he was supposed to do a full forensics on his phone. He did not do a full forensics. I wanted to know everything, down to if anything had been altered, who had been altered by, when it had been altered, everything. Have you had 35 email accounts? Uh, from the time I was 16. Uh, time yes. out, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Dr. Phil, we deleted 50 accounts 10 years ago. This has all started since we got married. That's an exaggeration. Since we got together. Really? No, it's not an exaggeration. Really? Well, I've How got, many was it? I've got screen grabs of 16 of them myself. Okay. No, what, we're talking about prior. This all started since we got married. Okay, let me Tell just me. say that the ones that we have found through all of this are not all of them. Baloney. Except one or two, maybe. But the other 50 were yours. Babe. Okay, we've, we've blurred your name on these, but why do you need so many email accounts? Not all of them are mine. What? And the reason I needed so many email accounts was because I had a, a, a letter and number sequence that I would do, okay? Now, I've learned through the years not to do things like that because I can't keep up with the letter and number sequence that I would do, or I couldn't keep up with the passwords. Okay. Dr. Phil? Why, hang on. Oh, why two, why do you need multiple email accounts? I don't need multiple. I just, there was a lot of times that I couldn't remember what Especially they were to get stuff. back to them. Okay. Well, <laughs> these came off of the hard drive. The... Your hard drive. These, these are... Okay, off of my phone. Yeah, so what you're saying is somebody got on the hard drive and made up a bunch of email accounts for you? <sighs> Dr. Phil, as crazy as... I'm just this asking, is that, I, is, that, is that your position? I know that not all of them are mine. I know that okay. things can be created as fake accounts when they get into okay. your Apple ID and your I'm iCloud. I'm sure to be honest with you, Dr. Phil. Okay, and... and really? Okay, I... That's, the, that's so, the whole reason I'm here. Okay, then talk to me. I'm, I'm the reason you're here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because you can talk right. to him at home. You're right. You, you, you can talk you to him at home. You're, you're, here to, you're here to talk to me, but and I'm, I'm you've made a threshold too. decision, and you've made the wrong one. She cloned your profile. Yes. She wanted dating advice from a male instead of a female. This was on a porn site, right? It was a hookup site for three sons.
Wednesday on an all-new Dr. Phil. From rock star to homeless and on heroin. You're not in here doing dope. Stop. But is his family to blame? You say you're taking care of him. You're poisoning him. That's Wednesday. He asked you about an account that you set up, and you said, well, I don't remember setting it up. Uh, maybe I did, I don't remember. We found an email account that was accessible through my phone, Name my device. The password already there. All you had to do yes. is hit go in. And the next I day, can... it wasn't the account that was changed, Dr. Phil. The name of the account stayed the same. It was the email address on the account that was changed. Well, I, I, I can explain that they, what happens is they take, and Billy, stop. Did you say to him, I, I may have set that up, I don't remember? I told him, yes, I, yeah. I don't remember setting this up, and but if I did, I'm exist. sorry. You know, I will not do it again. I mean, okay. he knew, so I don't just, always ask for his approval, Dr. Phil. Anytime, and this was for your daughter? Yes. And you just... You set it up, but you just forgot that you set it up. I didn't set this up, and I now know that it's... I, I mean, I, I can declare... I understand what it was to look at it, really. the very next day when it was gone... It didn't exist. And when we had a family member to come out and go through the different email accounts, he told me, he said, no, I'm telling you, I can't get back into this. He said it's yeah, like... Was that deleted? A, he said it's like it never existed. It wasn't like it got deleted. There's our new phrase, it never existed after so that. So those... Okay. Those words have been a death sentence to me. Well, that's a little dramatic, but... <laughs> Not okay. when you see... But, no, let me, let me just... Let me see what you know for sure. I just, okay. just want to take a look at what you know for sure, because okay. you're, you're, you're saying that you're confused here. So I just made a list of what you know for sure. You know that the PI said Jennifer's phone was not hacked, but that there are hacking apps that have been put on the phone. Yes. Okay. You know that Jennifer knows how the server works, right? Okay, listen, if you just want to blow smoke up his <laughs> you don't need me here to do that. Because every time I turn around, you're, you're looking at him and saying, now, Billy, you know, now, Billy, you know, Billy, you know. <laughs> if you want to do that, you don't need me here for that. You can just, you guys can, uh, how about I buy you lunch down at the commissary and you can go down there and... <laughs> And, and do that, because you didn't come here for help. You don't, you don't want my help. Well, I do. I don't, I just well, don't even know what's you going need on. to talk to me, and because every time I turn around, I she's trying to get in your ear and say, oh, Billy, come on, yes. you know better than that. Don't say that. Come on, Billy, come on, Billy, well, come on, after, Billy, come on, Billy. It's kind of hard to do that after everything went on. I don't okay. know what's going on. Come <laughs> with me. Yes, sir. Um, okay. You know that she knows how a server works, right? Yes, sir. Okay. You know that she has erased web history. Yes, sir. Correct? I mean, that's... You know that. Yes. Okay. You know that she has your passwords and has accessed your accounts. Yes. That you know. That she doesn't yes. lie about it. She said straight up. Yes. And you know how dumb that was, but yes. you gave her... All your, you're, you're suspicious that she's going in and erasing things and putting stuff down, but you say, I think you're manipulating these accounts. Here's all my passwords. No, 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 that's not how it works, Dr. But Phil. But that's, that's the end result. No, I was putting them in my notes under my phone, okay? She, I was an alias under her Apple ID, so all my stuff was going to her, and yeah. I didn't know it. Okay, you know that she's the administrator on your phone and your iCloud account. I don't know how to prove it. That's another reason well, But here. you know she is. Yes, somehow, some way. Okay. And you know in one month she used 180 gigabytes. We don't know where that went either. At the same time I got my external hard drive that all the files came up missing off of though. Yeah. So that means somebody... Is going through her phone, that, that, controlling my phone. Well, you know, she used an awful lot of data in one yes. month. I mean, yes. this could be porn videos. No. It could be her could moving much. data. It could be her empty in a uh, hard drive. Yes. It could be anything. Yes. But you know that she did. Yes. You know that she had 35 email accounts and has deleted some. Yes. That's a fact. I mean, these aren't yes. opinions. These are facts. Yes. Okay. You know that there are multiple social media accounts. One of them had 101 friends on it. I mean, so it had yes. been there a while. Yes. Okay, that she created three female accounts to try and trap you to see if you were yes. responding to women on accounts, and that she cloned your profile. Yes. Okay, so she could track everything that you were doing. Uh, uh, something like that.
Right. Well, um, it was for dating, the part dating advice. She wanted dating advice from a male instead of a female, so therefore... No, that's not... Or was it dating site, or was it, it porn? Was, it was one I, of the two. I have told you that it was about dating instead of marriage, because the marriage advice was not dating as... Dating advice. Okay, or something like that, so, but still, it's still cloning. Okay, but this was on a porn site, right? Well, she said it was either porn, yes. dating, or dating advice. Well, I know she was dating, giving advice, dating more. advice from a porn site, and she said, <laughs> and she said she would get better advice as a man, no. and that's why she. That, that, that's sure what you told site. us. I'm not sure it was a porn no. site. I, I'll go get the interview. It Sorry. was a hookup site for threesomes. For threesomes. Okay. All right. She created your daughter's email and social network account for your three and a half year old. Yes. Uh, and you know that she goes to porn sites and chat rooms. Yes. Uh, that she spies on you and checks your phone bill. Yes. Changed her phone number at the bank. Well, yes, but she says her no. sister called down from wherever and changed it. And of course. I, she has uh, no I'm just idea. dealing with the facts. Yes, yes. The number yes. was changed because yes. the bank called you to check and gave you a phone number that you had never heard of before. Yes, sir. So there was a different phone number. Yes, she told me. She had an explanation for it like everything else, but it did happen. Uh, There's been three other times, okay. Dr. Phil, she's called me, and it showed up as three different numbers, but not her phone number, but she has no idea how these we phone numbers are showing up as her phone number. Okay. All right. We're, we're coming back in a minute. And you do know that she slept with another man. Yes. And you do know that she changes her stories. Every other day. And th th there's no debate about it. These are factual. No, they're factual. I didn't know what else to do because... Leave the phone alone. I wasn't messing with the phone, but how do you prove that? Well, she just needs to admit what she's done and what she hasn't done, then we could go on. Now, what did you want to say about what it is that is factual? These are not factual. And and it's not it factual is not on what, there. It, it, it is what he believes. The administrator, he knows. I believe, because I somebody has you, complete Dr. control Phil. over me. And if it's not her, I don't know who wants control over me because I'm just some country boy that but out in the country. These are things that you think that you know. So, Dr. Mm. Phil, what I'm trying to tell you is, first of all, let me just say, I stood and I said things that were false to give him. Some but they're type not of false. Closure. There's Phil, no way Billy, you've seen all this stuff, second. Jennifer Nicole. I knew Dr. Phil what he had already thought that I had done but because look. he accused me of it for four and a half months. So if I could think of any way that it would make sense and I wouldn't have to go There's so no far There's no other way, Dr. Into, Phil. She just didn't admit what please. she's done and what she hasn't done. Then we could go on and then so we could have a little bit live together. To step up and say, listen. Then why'd you take him back a week later? This. And I would if you do want to make me feel anything good. Anything and everything, flip flopping, not flipping. The foundation for love to is trust. Billy, I and you did broke it, it all every, every time you lied. You broke it. Something to go off of. To and then take it back. Closure. Okay, hold on. And every time I did it, and he would, he'd get mad. Oh yeah, right. You really didn't do it. Here we go. Back to you didn't do it again, right? Those Virgin Marys. So the first thing that I would think is I'd go right back to. Fine, I did do it. And I didn't know what else to do because... Leave the phone alone. I wasn't messing with the phone, but how do you prove that when it's being done and it's off of your phone? Like, he'd go back to my phone at the end of the day and whatever we had looked at the day before, it was gone. Now, how do you argue that when it's being done, it's being taken off of your phone? You had control of that phone. You Billy, should guard it like a hawk. I had control of that okay. phone, but I... All right, hold on. We, we have to take a break here, and then I've got a really... I, I have a pivotal question for you. And I'm going to ask what your reaction to it is, but I'm getting ready to ask you seriously the watershed question in your life to this point. Now, Jennifer was trying so hard to prove her innocence that she says she took a polygraph test. So there's a polygraph, there's private investigators, there's all of this. I've reached out to the universities. But I've got a question for this gentleman when we come back that I think is going, this whole thing is going to turn on. We'll be right back. It 
You're so busy trying to make sure you have him on the line that you're just ignoring me. I'm not ignoring you. I'm I would if I were you. But I needed your help. To You're prove getting it. That I didn't do this. It's your last chance, Jennifer. You I better get busy. What? Well, we're out of time for today, but here's a sneak peek at tomorrow's show. Tomorrow on Dr. Phil. Is someone hacking their devices? We got the Russians involved here, for God's sake. Or is she the hacker? She's lying to me, and she's lying to you. I'm not lying to you. I came here because I needed your help. So what are you saying? Because I don't believe you that I'm not helping you? I know that you're the one that's doing this. Dr. Phil? I just want to know why. They left the stage. And just when you thought it couldn't get stranger... You're back. Will she finally come clean? So was there a hacker, or were you the hacker? You do not want to miss tomorrow. Billy decides to walk out on their relationship. But on the way to the airport, we got a desperate call from Jennifer that changed everything. Find out why she asked for a third chance to talk to me. You will not believe what happened next. For more information about today's show, log on to drphil.com. Tell us what you think on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time.